Astrology doesn't work. It's really that simple. There's no force, known or unknown, that could possibly affect us here on Earth the way astrologers claim. Known forces weaken too quickly through space, letting one or two sources utterly dominate. In our case, the Sun and Moon's gravity, along with the Sun's electromagnetism. And an unknown force that doesn't weaken with distance would mean that every planet orbiting every star in our galaxy, hundreds of billions of them, would make an unintelligible mash of any effects here on Earth. Astrology thus has no possible physical cause and is entirely explained by psychological effects. Most people are clearly swayed by confirmation bias, that is, remembering predictions that were right and forgetting the ones that were wrong, and the forer effect, or thinking vague general predictions apply to you specifically. Astrologers' predictions are basically no better than guesses, and they have zero ability to predict your life's path. Yet, astrology still gets far more attention than it deserves. Time magazine posted a credulous interview with an astrologer about the lunar eclipse that occurred on October 8th. It offers a telling example of how astrologers peddle their pseudoscience. The interview was filled with the standard, vaguely worded claims used by astrologers. Eclipses end something and they bring something else, but it really needed to end. And there's a shock factor first, and then a solution that turns out to be so good that you realize, wait a minute, this is a blessing. Lunar eclipses are worldwide events. Everyone on the side of the Earth facing the Moon could see it. How could this astrological attribute possibly apply to every single person? The beauty of this vagueness, if you're an astrologer, is that anyone who had anything come to a close in their life, from breaking up with a lover to finishing watching a TV series, could apply it to what they experienced. A prediction that general has no real power of prediction at all. This interview offers no hint of skepticism, no actual investigating, that might show that astrology is nonsense. It's not that astrology is doing direct damage to anyone, except for separating people from their money. The real problem is that it erodes away our ability to separate what's real and what isn't. Today, more than ever, that ability is crucial for our survival. We have concerted, well-funded efforts underway to demolish that ability, be it global warming deniers or anti-vaxxers or politicians who want to control your body. They don't need the help, especially not from major media outlets. Does the Earth have a hum? Yes, but not necessarily one you can hear. To be sure, many people say they've heard one. A mysterious, low-frequency sound has been reported as a nuisance around the world. Complaints recently have arisen in New Mexico, Indiana, England, and Scotland. Descriptions vary, but the people who claim to hear it describe it as similar to engines rumbling in the distance. In 2009.